Oh yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> I'm Jeff, and today I'm looking at rasps. I use rasps all the time in my line of work. I use what you would think of as a standard kind of rasp. It's a steel plate with a handle and some individual teeth punched into the steel. Um, but at Timbercon, there are some quite different kinds of rasps. I haven't really played with them before. Today I'm gonna to get to grips with them. Both kinds of these new rasps come out of Japan. This one here is called the Shinto rasp. What it looks like to me is a bunch of hacksaw blades riveted together in a pattern with a handle. It's got a coarse side and it's got a fine side. Um, that looks pretty, pretty interesting. I'm gonna have a go with that today. The other version of the Shinto rasp looks even more interesting because it's got this plain kind of style handle on there. The, the back handle is raised off the surface of the, of the um, blade and then you've got this front handle here. So I've never used that before. I'm going to have a, have fun getting to grips with that. The other kind of rasp that we've got uh, here is called the Wataoka rasp. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a really interesting uh, pattern. It looks like a curved tooth file. Um, sometimes called a mill file, I think, or um, a float. Um, but it does have little diagonal cuts in the teeth as well. Um, so the geometry is quite interesting on these ones. There are curved ones. Flat ones, flat ones are double sided, they do have safe edges. The larger size don't come with handles, so I've just put some, some file handles on there. The smaller size don't need them, they come with these rubber um, sort of grips around the shaft there. A friend of mine gave me some timber to experiment with, and it's really interesting stuff. I've not played with it before as, as a Kiwi, I haven't encountered it before. It's called New South Wales Rosewood, sort of medium density, fine grain stuff but it's got real funky grain. This, this piece has grain going all over the shop. So it's a perfect chance to try out some rasps, see how they work on a difficult grain piece. And what I've just done is I've band sawed out this shape. It's gonna give me lots of opportunity to do different profiles, if you like. There's end grain carving and there's some concaving and stuff like that on there. Uh, right, so let's get into it. Oh yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> All right, so I've really put those tools to the test. I've done about a quarter of the profiling that this piece requires, and I'm really impressed. Um, you can see on the, on the piece here the different uh, different kind of surface effects that you get from the different tools. So with the Shinto, you've got the two sides, which is really great. You can flip over as you work. You don't have to kind of reach for another tool. The coarse side is super fast, very, very fast, but it's still nice and controllable, which I really liked. Um, and then the fine side comes along and gives you actually a really, really good surface. Um, the edge there is either a positive or a negative, depending on what your job is. So I found it really good to get into a, a um, acute kind of angle there. But it might be a negative if you need to get into a, a tighter concave. You're not really gonna reach in there with this style of tool. So on the other hand, you get these Wataoka styles. I found them much more sensitive to the pressure that I was using. They tended to grip a little bit. I was doing a lot of side grain um, work they were a bit they were a bit easier along the grain and probably just to do with the cutting geometry there um, but beautifully fast and really smooth really really nice so i'm super super stoked with those i can see myself using even the little teeny tiny ones for those little fine jobs you just need to take off you know a bit of a mistake here and there and... so in general you're going to reach for a rasp when you need to remove some stock quickly and you're going to be freehanding that shape um, this one might be really good for um, smoothing off flat areas as well because you've got that control of the, um, of the handle there. 
So I really recommend these tools. Pick one up, give it a go, see how you get on. My name's Jeff. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.